Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, March 31st, 2012. This is the East Coast Conservative Vodcast. My name is Hatton Humphrey, and I thank you for watching and listening in. Um, I'm recording this uh, as a comment. Uh, you used to call it the East Coast Conservative Comment, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll throw video in here for now. Um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, to introduce us to YouTube. Second of all, to respond to a video uh, that was posted by a listener, Zach. And first of all, Zach, thank you so much for, for listening uh, and for putting up with us, because you're a progressive, and I, I give you a lot of props for actually sticking through most of our, our blather, uh, as I'm, I'm sure some of it comes off as. You, you said you laugh at us. Well, I appreciate you like my jokes. I, I laugh at them, too. <laughs> Sorry, I do, you know, it's just one of those things. But Zach asked a couple of questions, and I wanted to answer those and also introduce the show and, and explain a little bit about it and try to keep this as short as possible, which I'm not really doing a good job of, so I'll shut up and answer the question. Zach asked the question, are we partisan hacks? Um, we're conservatives, which in some people's eyes instantaneously makes us partisan hacks. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes because when you think about it, when you talk to mainstream Republicans, which, yes, there are those out there, um, they don't even like conservatives most of the time. And unless it's an election cycle, then you've got everybody out trying to out-conservative each other, which just really makes us look at it and go, what the hell are you doing? We're also entertainers. Which you know we we try to make people laugh at a lot of cases, um, you know it's 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 not like we have this big sign behind us going laugh laugh laugh, but it is you know something that um, sometimes will happen. But he was asking this question, you know he was he was, he was making the statement of you don't complain you don't complain about Republicans. Yes, we do. Um, and the specific issue that he brought up was the Arizona bill that, as it was announced to the world, was about birth control. Now, my background, um, as far as politics goes, I like to follow the rules of things. I'm a rules-based guy. Uh, it comes from doing technology and also, you know, knowing the history, knowing the rules, knowing how the system works. So, first of all, I'll say what I didn't say in the podcast, or if I didn't, if I did say it, I'll re-say it. And that is, you know, when it comes down to certain things, I know that it's not going anywhere. Um, and when it's not going anywhere, it doesn't make any sense for me to complain about what's not going to go anywhere. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about pushing a Yugo. I'm going to get a cab. I guess that's a bad analogy, but Hey, it works. And we did talk about the Arizona bill, but not, not because of the language of the birth control issue. That was disturbing. That was, that I looked at it, said, you're going to do what? Yeah, it's never going to fly. And that was the end of it. But what I did complain about was this concept, and it's in the title of episode 222, Strike All. That was a direct reference to the Arizona bill because that's what they did. Now, for those that don't know what a strike all is, they take a piece of legislation that and say, hey, look, we've got this piece of legislation. It's made it onto the congressional calendar for this year. It's made it past its conference committee. So it's on the floor. I want to make an amendment to it. Let's erase everything and fill in what we want the language to be. And that's what the Arizona House bill was, or the Arizona bill was. And I said point blank at the time, um, that's crap. <laughs> that is the worst, dirtiest trick, underhanded, sneaky thing. And I find out, I find out that it happens at at, at at states and at the federal level, and it happens by both parties. And in all, it, that is crap. That is pure crap. <clears throat> but then again, I'm also not one for knee-jerk legislation that is thrown in simply to address an issue that is news of the day. Because that's not what legislation's supposed to be about. 
It's, it's supposed to be bigger picture than that. Um, yeah, so as far as, as far as criticizing Republicans, we do, um, we're not as verbal about it. And here's why, just to, just to explain for those that haven't listened to the show before, we record a podcast every week and we as myself and Ken Johnston, I'm using the Royal we, um, uh, Ken Johnston is my co-host and we get together once a week to talk about the news of the week. And we don't, we, we work very hard not to talk about the same things that Limbaugh and Hannity and Levin and everybody else are talking about because those issues also need to be brought up and we have fun with it. We have a lot of fun with it. Our last episode was about conspiracies, you know, the, or things that are tinfoil hat moments or things that could be tinfoil hat moments. And sometimes you know, those are a stretch as well. We open with a fun article to make us laugh because in some cases, the other articles will make us cry. But we try really hard to be enjoyable and to enjoy ourselves. And one of the things that I learned listening to other podcasts was, if you start the show screaming and end the show screaming, and all you do is scream through the whole thing, except for your commercial breaks, it's, it's not enjoyable. Yeah, there, there are folks that listen to that, but it's not enjoyable. Um, Zach also asked the question, is there anything too far? Is there anything too far to the right for you guys? Um, yes, but that's not, you, 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 when they get to that point, then it's not a conservative, it's not a conservative thing anymore. I'll point out one big thing. The Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas. Point blank. That is too far to the right for me. That is a severe socially conservative viewpoint of things, but it's taken to such an extreme that it is beyond the realm of conservatism. Um, and as as someone who has preached in the past, I, his theology really bugs me, but that's a different story. That's a different conversation. Of course there are things that go too far. And in all honesty, they're probably not going to come from Republicans. They're going to come from libertarians. Ron Paul, Dr. Ron Paul, smart guy in a lot of ways, but there are things that he says that are so libertarian, they're so out there, that Ken and I just shake our heads. The difference is, is we don't scream about it that much. Hmm. You know, hey, we do scream sometimes. But you're not going to hear a lot of that come out of the mainstream Republican. And you're not really going to hear a lot of it come out of the conservative unless you've got a social conservative that has taken things too far. I mean, you got the, you got the fiscal conservatives that are, you know, they're worried about money. We're all worried about money. So, yes. Has it, have we identified anything like that? No. No, we haven't. And there's not anything that's going to make us wake up one day and say, oh, God, what were we thinking with these dis with these conservative thoughts? We've got to get them out of our head. Let's go hug a tree. No, it's, it's not going to happen. We're conservatives. That is that is who we are, and that is where we, how we think. And that's why it's the East Coast Conservative Podcast. Now, for those that haven't listened to the podcast before, I'm going to post the link to the website in the notes for the uh, YouTube video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, well, you won't have to put up with this ugly mug unless I post another comment, which I might. You, you never know. But uh, we ask you to join us. You can join our recording session every Sunday night at 8.30. You can listen to, you can download our podcast off iTunes. You can listen to us on Stitcher.com um, at Red State Talk Radio uh, as well. And if you like what you heard, join us. If you didn't like what you heard, we'll still invite you to join us because you'll probably hear different words in a different order. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Have a great day.